My greatest purchase in over 10 years is not a gaming console, not a TV, and not even a new gaming computer. Instead, it is the foundation of which all of my future gaming computers will now rest on. My desk. Waking up is a little more tolerable nowadays because getting to work has never been more inviting. It may not be an RTX 3090, but it will most definitely outlive it. This is my minimalist desk. Kung naghahanap ka ng legit Windows 10 Pro CD key, may special promo ngayon ang CD key offers for Black Friday. Mura na sila dati, mas mura pa sila ngayon. And may dagdag 20% discount if you use our promo code. Add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit Working CD key ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. Never buy anything for the sake of adorning your room with new things. Things have value only if they're useful within your budget and will last you for a long time. My previous desk, a five-drawer pine wood table, was a childhood gift to me from my parents when I was seven. You can still see the streaks of my childhood across its surface, and this was my workstation throughout all my years in the academe. It was during my time in law school when I realized the most serious flaw. I was running out of desk space due to having a second monitor, a printer, scanner, and having the PC on top of the desk. We always recommend that PC stay on top because it attracts less dust balls, thus improving circulation and air cooling. Due to COVID and the work from home mantra, I finally went all in on a new desk, but I had 5 years worth of Pinterest experience to know what I wanted. It had to be similar to the IKEA Alex drawers and Linma's tabletop. The problem is that IKEA isn't open yet in the Philippines, and the Linman tabletop doesn't seem sturdy as it has a tendency to bend in the center. More on that later. The best solution I could come up with was to have the desk made to order, and after going through six furniture makers, I finally found one which replied and who gave the best price for what I wanted. It is by no means a cheap desk. But after going to so many furniture stores in the past 5 years, and much smaller desks made out of wood costing even more than what was quoted, I knew I found a bargain. My desk gives me freedom. I can put my feet up anytime if I want to. I can even move my keyboard and mouse around to a variety of configuration spaces in case I don't want to use them. Sometimes we have gotten so used to believing that an office table is meant entirely for the computer and we forget the benefits of pen and paper. To this day, I handwrite the tasks for the day on a small notepad which I keep within quick reach. Writing on paper, as we are taught in law school, strengthens memory. And to be honest, I find it more fulfilling writing off a task with a pen rather than using an app. I design my desk so that I also have a lot of legroom. I can rest one of my legs after long periods of work or even just switch to Indian sitting altogether without a single concern of running out of space underneath. The key to achieving this is the height of the drawers and the length of the tabletop. At a height of 32 inches, my table is aligned with the armrests of my chair, and I want to emphasize how important this is. When the table originally arrived, it was way too high and it was extremely uncomfortable to use. My arms were literally overextended each time I needed to use the keyboard. This was completely my fault as they were just following my original specs. I attempted to remedy the problem by installing NASA-approved modifications to my armrests, and while this did somewhat fix the problem, it came at the cost of having shoulder pain due to them being unnaturally raised for extended periods of time. Axwoods, the furniture maker, was kind enough to adjust it for me at no cost, and I was extremely grateful. I want to give a special shout out to May, who helped make this possible. The lesson to be learned is always make sure your chair's armrests are leveled with that of your table. The countertop is 4.2 centimeters thick and made of pure mahogany. 
Having a thick plank of real wood as my countertop was non-negotiable. Wood adds warmth and a natural vibe to the otherwise unnatural beasts that lay on top of it. Seeing and feeling the individual wood grains remind me that my table is unique. Although anyone can order a similar table, no wood grains are the same. And while it isn't very noticeable, my tabletop is actually made of several planks of wood merged together to make a whole. This is why there are some variations of color, but just like the planks of wood in my room, it adds character rather than a distraction. Having a thick countertop not only adds to the premium look, but most importantly, it guarantees that the table will not sag in the long run. The thinner the countertop, the less weight it can take. A lot of IKEA and IKEA-inspired desks suffer from the middle sagging, especially if you are getting a long table like mine. This is why some people install a support bracket, but this makes the desk ugly and removes the clean minimalist appeal. There's even a guy who purposely broke his IKEA desk by jumping on top of it. You can check it in the link below, but in short, his IKEA tabletop showed signs of sag even before he jumped on it, and it broke quite easily once he did. I'm not going to court danger by jumping on top of my desk, but I have every confidence in its strength when I occasionally need to sit on top of it, which I really need to do sometimes in order to adjust my cable management. Wood not only looks nice, but it will also last you longer and it ages well. Take my 24-year-old desk for instance. Although wood can easily get scratched, the damage is not permanent, as you can always send it down by a professional and return it as good as new. The thicker the plank of wood, the more you can sand it down over the years, thus increasing its longevity. I fully intend to refinish my old desk eventually, and if I ever get a kid, at least they'll already have a good study table. This is not true with respect to countertops made from other material. My drawers, for instance, are made of marine substrate, which inherits the same problems as furniture made from MDF, which is that once it is damaged, there is very little you can do and you need to bear with it until you replace it entirely. I have 10 spacious drawers. While they aren't made of wood and probably won't last as long as the countertop, I don't really mind. Just as long as I don't get it wet and I'm careful not to hit it unintentionally, I can easily see these things lasting years. And when I do need to replace it, insulation will be as simple as putting the countertop on top of the new drawers. And because it is marine substrate, it is a lot cheaper to replace than drawers made of wood. The fact that the handles are cut out makes it not only nice to look at, but keeps costs down and makes sure that there are less things to replace. Keep in mind, the more stuff anything is made of, the more maintenance it will need and more stuff you need to replace it with over time, just like these handles. Although not made of wood, the premium nature of the drawers come from the mechanism. It makes pulling and pushing a real joy and there is even a safety function built into the rail, which prevents me from accidentally damaging it by banging it shut. I protected the interior of the drawers with a plastic film. All you need to do is cut it out to the correct size and now you don't need to worry about your items rolling around and damaging either the drawer or the stuff inside it. I'll leave the details of it in the link below. Unlike most gamers, I really don't mind if I can't directly see the RGB lights of my PC or if my PC is far away from my monitors. I prefer to have as much table space as possible because you never know when you will need to work on a project which doesn't involve your computer. And even if I don't use the space, seeing a large table that is clutter-free helps remove anxiety and it inspires me to get to work on something. The best way for me to achieve this was by having a cabinet made which uses the same material as my desk. It has six large drawers meant more for clothes rather than office stuff but I welcome the extra space so it can store ink cartridges and paper for my printer. Combining that with the 10 drawers I already have makes my storage capacity feel limitless. And the best part of it is that the extension creates the illusion that the table is longer than it really is. The danger, however, of having such a large table is the instinctive desire to put stuff on it. I wanted to make sure the space it occupied in my room isn't wasted, thus all the drawers. While most people will look at the monitors and the PC when they come into my room, what I am most proud of is the charging station I made with a 94 peso cable organizer. It has the following cables, a USB 2.0, 3.0, my laptop's charger, my Corsair Harpoon's charger, and my printer's USB cable, all neatly tucked in without any mess in sight. I have a similar charging station next to my bed.
In conclusion, a new desk may not be the most exciting thing to buy, especially when there are RTX 3090s and new AMD processors, but consider that a desk is something which generally isn't replaced as often as a new computer. At least not for me, not in my mind. Uh, like I used the same desk f ever since I was a kid and I only changed it now. So I really think this is going to be sticking with me for the next 15 or 20 so years. And I'm actually quite excited for the desk's journey, so to speak. And to be honest, I really think that having a good desk or office space makes me produce work more efficiently and actually to make better work, not just work that's work. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is share this video to your boss so that they can, the office can sponsor you a nice office table and chair. I know that some companies do that. And hell, you know what? You deserve it. If you like this video, consider liking and subscribing to us. And if you didn't, well, you know what to do. Let us know in the comments below what you liked about this video and um, what you didn't like, as well as the other videos that you want us to produce for you. Till then, I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, and thanks for tuning in.